Mums Head reading our stories to children worldwide is especially important this year because many children are not able to go to school and are at home. Corona virus pandemic has been a difficult year for many. We have lots of new friends that look forward to seeing us each week. Mum is busy cutting up a snack for us. Mmm, I smell watermelon. Remember his little Liberty, who's my co-author, and I'm reading her stories. <laughs> I smell watermelon. I could smell the watermelon that was sitting up on the top of the kitchen counter. And I was wondering when Mum was going to cut open that watermelon. I like fruit, all kinds of fruit. I follow Mum into the kitchen in the mornings and sit on the mat to wait for Mum to share her strawberries and blueberries while she is cutting them up for her own protein drink. Then I go and find Dad, who is usually, and Mum and Ebony, usually sitting on the couch eating his breakfast with Ebony, Rose and Pippa. I let him know I'm ready for banana now. I love vegetables too. My favourites are frozen green beans and carrots. Mum buys lots of fruit and vegetables in the summer because Nora the tortoise eats all of these things in the summer and we all have to share with Nora. I hear Mum walk, walking into the kitchen. Ebony Rose is telling me, Mum is picking up the bowl with the watermelon. I'm so excited. Mum is calling to Dad, hey Terry, come and try the watermelon. Wait, no me, I want to try the watermelon. I run up behind Mum in the kitchen and nudge her leg. Mum sees me and knows exactly why I have joined her in the kitchen. I hear Mum laughing as she walks over to the table, calling my name. Mum is sitting in her chair beside the dining room table and I stand with my two front paws on the little footstool in front of her. Yes, watermelon. Mum bends down and offers me, not a piece, not a bite, but a whole slice of watermelon for me to bite into. At last, I have my watermelon. I can feel Ebony Rose and Pippa watching me.